Care for a summer gaming detour? Let's take a look at Sniper Elite 3. Now before we get started, this is quite a gory game as far as shooting people, bullets through arms, legs, all that stuff. So here's your chance to bail, just in case you are the faint of heart. All right, let's wait, three, two, one. Okay, let's get started. Developed by Rebellion Developments and published by one of my favorites, 505 Games, this tactical shooter takes you to North Africa with a loose narrative based on World War II. Heading into it, you would think all you do is use that rifle picking off dudes left and right, but it's not totally about that. For my own game, I ended up taking one sniper shot here and there, back to the well rod silencer gun for headshots, and then all out machine gunning dudes to get through a camp or a clearing. There is a lot of running around, getting clear of searches, repositioning. Half of the game is relocating to get that next shot. It gets a little boring for me after a while, repetitive. I didn't find many opportunities to get into a real sniping prone position either. You think, hey, you know, I'm gonna get down, and it was a little tough finding high ground positions to take for those shots as well. I tended to take out more guys in stealth or at ground level. Find those 88s. Flow and movement is spotty. Negotiating obstacles on the run isn't too bad, smooth, but overall the movement is darty, jumpy, too loose. There's also something amiss with the map, the objective system, the location of enemies, the AI. I do like the lower left overlay map to spot enemies. I like seeing things in front of me, but there was too much time toggling between the main map and the main screen to figure out where I was going, how do I get to my next objective, and there were too many cases when I couldn't even see an enemy on the map. It took more time than it should to identify the guy. Odd glitches, bad reactions from the AI, like here for example. See this? I gave myself up there and the guy didn't even notice. And okay, it's night time, but that's stealth play? being able to walk within the guy's line of sight. I also took a whack at the challenges. There's solo survival and such. Had a nice double kill there, look at that. Bam. And bam. Multiplayer was mediocre. The detail of the hits is probably the coolest part, be it a graphic slow motion scene detailing the preciseness of your kill, I had a lot of ball shots. Yeah, testicle shot. They even tell you on the screen, it's a testicle shot. Yeah, you shot somebody in the nutsack and they need to let you know that you shot somebody in the bag. Okay, not much else to say here, so if I'm talking to a select few gamers who enjoy heavy stealth and sniping, you're probably gonna love it. If I'm talking to the majority of gamers with a broader outlook or looking for something less one-dimensional, tactical, I would not get this, especially if you're on a tight budget. Now, it's summertime, maybe you're trying to save money, you're off from school, you're a little bored, you're like, ah, oh, I gotta get a new game. This one up here is a little tempting, but don't get it. Wait till the fall, there are many games coming down the line, you won't regret it, especially if you're saving money, because I think you'll get bored with this game very quickly, and then you'll think, oh my god, I wasted all that money, look, I could have gotten Destiny, I could have gotten Alien Isolation, I could have... There's a lot of stuff coming down the line. So, moral of the gaming story, patience, my gamers. Be not tempted by titles dangling the dead of bland summer gaming. Fall will be here soon enough.